Yo, what's going on at YouTube? I'm back. Another video, you guys. In this video, the kid, he had blonde hair. I should have recorded him the first time I ever cut him, but, uh, you know, I got lazy. <laughs> so he came in with a blonde curly top. I gave him a low bald fade. It came out very crispy, you guys. Man, you guys are going to have to watch it. If you guys are new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Put the post notifications on. My YouTube has been popping lately, like, popping. You know, well, not really popping, but for me, popping, I guess, because I'm not really that known. So, <laughs> I want to I wanna give you guys some for it because um, I really appreciate you guys uh, always watching my videos, commenting, and everything. We're giving away the magic clips, you guys. The magic clips. So... You guys know that I always use my magic clips in my YouTube videos, so I want to give you guys a chance to get this in the giveaway. I know I said I was going to be doing a giveaway a lot, but COVID, whole, it all messed up the whole thing, so I'll be letting you guys know more about the giveaway in my uh, next few videos. I don't know when I'm going to be giving away. I don't know like if I'm going to reach 10K, 8,000, I don't know. It's close to 8,000, so... Uh, Keep subscribing, you guys. Do you guys know more on this? So, um, yeah, just keep watching my videos. And also, if you, oh, if you guys want to, um, if you guys want to get in this giveaway, comment down below about it, you guys. Because I, I want to know if I have a lot of people doing it. Because there might be another giveaway. There might be a, a second place giveaway. Who knows, you guys? So, let me know. Um, hope you guys like this video. You guys came out crispy, and I'm out. Take it easy. going on YouTube it's Arlen I'm back with another video hope you guys enjoy this one hope everybody's having a good day as well so we're doing a ball line with our gold uh, babyless liners or trimmers however you want to say it uh, I'm doing a low bald fade so I make sure that the the ball line is low as possible not low as possible but low enough to uh, to notice a low fade and whatnot so make sure that your bald line is straight across the entire head because when your ball line is straight your guidelines will be straight and then the fade will come out straight and blurry and everything so you want everything nice and even make sure that it's neat so that way you can see what you're cutting and um, yeah So we are setting our guidelines in with our magic clips. I know my magic clip looked different because I put a case on them and uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys want the the case or anything, uh, the link is gonna be down in the description below of, of how to get them. So um, yeah, they cut nice. Everything's still the same, still the same clipper, just looks a little bit different. And also added a ceramic blade. So if you guys want to get that, be in the description below as well. But uh, so we're doing the first guy line all the way open and we're just uh, make sure that the, the guy line is straight, maybe like half an inch, maybe a little bit lower. Uh, you kind of want to give yourself some room to uh, obviously blend out that bottom line. So don't, don't make it too big or too small. Just make sure that it is stretched out. So it gives you some time and room to obviously fade it out. So we're gonna take out that bottom line so we're gonna have the lever all the way closed uh, just to take it out right there. Um, 
So what I like to do, and I tell everybody this in my videos, I do close, halfway, and then open. Uh, the reason I do that is when you do close, it's gonna take out that bottom line. Sometimes it doesn't, you just gotta improvise. And then with that close, it's gonna make another line, or not another line, another, it's still gonna be dark. So you do halfway to take out that dark, and then open to just smooth it all out. You know not to go past that first guideline with an open or anything, because you know that is, that, that, guideline right there is open so you know not to go past that with anything other than an open so just make sure you guys go close halfway open method and also use the corners So on to the next step in the fade, we have our wall number one guard and we're gonna make another guy line. I kinda don't wanna go past that, you know, the, um, the color, so I'm kinda going underneath it. Uh, I wanna keep the color on top so that way it makes it more poppier, you know, it makes it pop more. So <laughs> yeah, so we're doing a guy line, but we're making the guy line about a little bit lower than a half an inch, maybe half an inch. Yeah, pro probably half an inch or a little bit lower. It depends on how you like to do it. Um, so we're gonna make sure that the guy line is straight. And I kind of open it up higher in the back because I have more room to fade back there. So I, I kind of do it higher back there. So make sure that you uh, also brush in the hair down. That is very important, you guys. I failed to mention that earlier. You want, always wanna brush the hair down so that way when every time you, you swipe up, the hair is gonna go up, especially with coarse hair like this. So you always wanna brush it down. So in this next step, sorry, I'm talking too much, you guys. <laughs> in this next step, we are doing a one and a half right there on the side, just so um, it'll still keep it dark. And that way, when I do line it up, it's gonna be dark on that area. So try not to go above the color part because we're gonna try to keep it nice and uh, dark up there for you guys. So it gives it more of a pop. We have our zero guard now and we're gonna have it all the way open also I'm using the corners and every time I am doing like three strokes of uh, with the clipper I always brush it down because you always want to brush it down I told you guys this in my last uh, you always want to brush it down because I feel like when you do it the fade just comes out so much more smoother you go because you're, you're brushing the hair down that you want to cut and it, it seems like you see the canvas way easier right so, I mean, the hair is the canvas, right, you guys? So, hey, so I have it all the way open. I'm using the corners and um, I do close halfway open, the method I used before in the in earlier in the video. So you always wanna just play with your levers a lot so that way it gives you the fade that you want it. Everybody has their own technique in fading, you know? Um, so when you find yours, you'll know, you'll know. So just all you gotta do is just try to make it as blurry as possible. Um, it's not gonna be perfect. Nobody's perfect, you guys. So just make sure that it, everything, every dark spot is out. And there you go. So we're gonna be taking our number two guard here just to take out that little extra bulk on the side right there. So I'm not really digging into the hair. I am kind of just getting it and flicking up, upwards, 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 uh, cause I don't want to make a hard line and I also want to basically uh, create a shape. So I am, once I get to that top portion right there, I just flick up. So onto the lineup arch part on the side. So I'm using my gold babyless liners and I'm gonna create a nice arch. Uh, to do this, you guys, make sure you brush the hair down and also you wanna use that corner to basically use it as a pencil to create a nice 
arch, not noise, noise, <laughs> a nice arch. <laughs> so um, I'm going over it. Try not to press too hard, you guys, because you do not want to scar him or irritate the skin. So make sure you guys are using light touch. So I'm gonna be doing the front lineup, you guys. So I'm gonna be brushing that uh, hair down that's on top. So my client, he doesn't really have a lot of hair in the middle, so I'm not gonna start from the middle this time because uh, he don't really have hair right there and I don't wanna push him hair, his hairline back. So uh, we started from the side this time and um, basically try to make it as crispy as you guys can and then basically match up the other side. It's, it's honestly a pretty easy lineup because uh, it, you just gotta match each side and you don't really got to worry about the middle so make sure you guys match the sides and also I didn't use enhancement in this video um, I really don't like using enhancements on his hair because the hairline is already pretty dark as it is and it yeah <laughs> so just make sure you guys uh make sure that the lineup is straight on each corners and um, and also uh, use the corners of the blade don't use the full blade because if you use the full blade it's not gonna um, I feel like when I've done that before in the past that it doesn't give it the crispy ish look I'm not saying it's, it's not gonna be crispy but when you use the corners you have more control of what the lineup is and you just have more control of the clipper trimming his hair down with the long shears um i like using these to trim down hair i'm not really trimming down a lot i'm just trimming down a little bit just a little stray ways that are poking up uh make sure that the uh you do have a long shear that is arch i don't have one myself i usually use somebody else's i don't know why i don't have one i just been lazy to get one <laughs> so uh just make sure that um everything's nice and even and just get all the hairs really make sure you do pick it out too i did pick it out before i actually did this i didn't show it in the video but uh make sure that it's all nice and even then the shape is nice and um just give away all those little stray ways that are poking out I'm just doing cleanup work with my Andes Masters. It's always the best clipper to do cleanup work with, for my my opinion, you guys, uh, because I don't know why. It's just I just like the Andes Masters for it. I'm just getting all the little dark spots and just cleaning it up, make it lighter. I'm getting the little the bottom. Not, I'm not going too high. I'm just going to clean up the bottom. That's about it, you guys. But also, the video is almost over, so I thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube videos. Um, it means a lot to me. If you guys are new to the channel, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and also put that thumbs up. Not thumbs up, but uh, that post notification on, you guys. Um, I try to drop every Tuesday, you guys, in the morning. So. If you guys are uh, regulars, you guys know this already, but um, I'm Arlen, I'm out, hope you guys like this cut, take it easy.